Morning, Captain. Morning, General. <laughs> yeah, it looks like you're on active duty. Yeah, Emma drafted me for a few chores, and I picked up the handbills for the new show. Oh? Looks pretty good, huh? Oh. Well, hey, that, ought to, that ought to bring in quite a few guinea pigs, huh? You ever hook up with the fellas in the horseshoe game? No, no, I'm a little too young for that sort of thing. Oh, Figure oh. a fellow ought to hold off on horseshoes till after the parade's passed him by. Oh, that'll be some time, sir. Get it? Thank you. Look, Bob, I still don't know too much about show business and the uh, no guinea pigs, but in case you and Phil are worried about the welfare of a certain Vermont innkeeper, you needn't be. His innkeeping days are numbered. Oh, I wouldn't say that. Percentage is going to catch up with the weatherman one of these days. You know, I've been watching those clouds, and there's snow in them. Those are cumulus clouds, elevation 7,000 feet. Yeah? Well, I wouldn't be surprised if it snowed overnight. I want to tell you something. I haven't even told the women folk. I'm going back in the Army. Really? I've applied for active duty. Well, that's wonderful news, sir. I got an idea. They may try to palm off one of those desk jobs on me, but they'd better not. I'm holding out for a training command or something overseas. Well, when will you hear, sir? Expect a letter from Washington any day now. Oh, holy smoke. I'm really on the ball. And I got the mail right here, and I think there's a letter for you, General. Yeah. Here it is, from Washington, too. It looks like the one at the War Department, sir. Yeah. I it. left my, my glasses are in my room. I, I would like to read this by myself, but I'm a little anxious. Read it, son, slowly. Mm -hmm. I'm starting to play trombone a little, too, but let's see if I can get, get focused in here. <clears throat> Dear Tom, why, you dirty old... Let's skip that word. Um, <laughs> certainly was a surprise hearing from you. Your amusing letter was appreciated more than you imagined. Of course, you've got plenty of time to be amusing sitting on that porch, rocking away while we put in a full day's work. You always were a lucky stiff, and I envy you. A few years more, I was saying to Edie the other evening, and I'll be able to take it easy like old Tom. Old Tom. Oh, well, some people have all the luck. Everything's fine here. Carol had the mumps, which uh, is... The rest of the letter is, uh, is about the family. He's telling me that well, they can't use me. No place for me. We're not fooling each other. Bob, it wouldn't be too hard to learn this game of horseshoes. Now, would it? Cinch. Begging your pardon, sir, but uh, there's really a lot to be said for leisure. Of course, you've always been active, but uh, in time... Never you... kid a kidder, son. <laughs> See you later. That's a good one. Take a rest. Oh, Phil. I'll already run through the choreography number. I'll be with you in a minute. I tell you, it's the craziest thing I ever heard of. How are you going to get a whole division up here by Christmas Eve? Well, so we don't get a whole division, but there must be enough guys in New England alone from the old man's outfit to fill a town this size. At least enough guys to let him know he's not forgotten. Don't you think putting the show on will do it? Phil, if you'd have seen the look in his eyes when he read that letter, you'd know it wouldn't. It's going to take five days to put the show on, isn't it? That's right. Well, how are we going to get in touch with all the fellas? Television, Ed Harrison. I'm going to go put a call into him now. Oh. And I'll go on down to New York, and if I can swing it, I'll get on his show and make a pitch to the guys myself. What do you think of it? I think it's impossible, ridiculous, and insane. Anything else? Yeah. I wish I'd thought of it first. <laughs> <laughs> you rehearse the number. I'll put the call in, boy. OK. Hey, Johnny, get the kids for a dress rehearsal, will you? Emma? Huh? Did you uh, put in a long-distance call for me? I want to get Ed Harrison, New York City. The television, Ed Harrison? <laughs> That's the fella, yeah. You catch him at Radio City, I think, and let's keep it quiet. This is kind of a personal thing. Oh, sure, sure. Ed Harrison, television. 